Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Chloe's Toy Time. We're going to be doing some more experiments today with our Project MC Squared Lab Kit, the Ultimate Lab Kit. We're going to try that circle thing out. We got the right colors now, and I hope it turns to the right color and hope yeah, we're going to redo the milk experiment today. We got the right food coloring. We got actual. And we're going to do the gas. And we're going to do the gas when we're going to try to blow up a balloon it's using like, gas. Yeah, I had a balloon. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start with the um, redoing our very cool milk experiment. Chloe, can you open up our little petri dish? It says we need petri dish, we need milk, and we need some food coloring. Can I do the milk again? Yeah, I'm going to let Chloe pour this milk into her Petri dish. Remember how we did it with my fingers and boys? Mm-hmm. Scoot that over to you, baby. So there is Chloe's milk. And then uh, we're going to get our food color. Oh, That's all right. Let me get a little bit right here. All right, no biggie. No biggie. So there's the milk. It says you need milk. Um, right here in our little, let me grab this out for you. This comes with your lab kit. We went over this lab kit when we opened it up the other day, so I'll just talk about this briefly. But this is a book full of experiments, and the one that we're going to try today is the crazy color milk experiment. And it says you'll need milk, a petri dish, food coloring, which I'm guessing liquid because we used gel and that didn't work, dishwashing soap, and a cotton swab. So we've got all of that here, and we are going to, I'm going to give Chloe liquid food color says you need to fill the petri dish with milk and then it says you add one drop of each color of food color to it and this here we just used we've got these good old-fashioned food coloring they're neon so they're very bright and pretty Chloe you can put a drop of each now these should squeeze real easy I'm going to show you how easy they come out honey See that? Yeah, we're going to wait to mix it, and Mommy's going to put the blue, or, uh, don't put that on your shirt. Whoa, 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 right here. Open them up over the table. That could get ugly. All right, one drop. Maybe just a teensy bit more, puppy, right over top of that. Oh, good. All right. Now, go ahead and put this blue in for us. I'll take that. One drop of blue over here. There we go. So let me get the camera shot on that, and next we'll add our dish soap. Can I do that? You may. Hang on one second, though. It says you add one drop of food coloring over the milk. It says try touching the milk with a cotton swab. Can I do that? So just the milk and not the color. Yes, ma'am. Touch the milk and see if anything happens with the cotton swab. Anything? Nope. Let's try it. Okay, now hang on. That's enough. So you guys can see the colors are right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the dish soap. Okay, so Chloe blew one and it kind of spread the color around, but hopefully that won't have any effect. If it does, we'll do it again. I want to drop some dish soap in here. Oh, well, Mom! Now it looks like the oh. colors, the blow one in. Um, That's crazy. So it's just kind of spreading around. Let me get close up on that. It's actually really pretty. Let's try to add another drop of soap and see what happens in there. Yeah. Let's add one more drop. It says to add another drop of soap and see what happens. Can I do that? You know what? Let mommy do this. You can help me. Can you help me tip it? No, nope, still squeeze. You don't have to. It's just kind of running out. Um, oh! So the colors are kind of blending together, but they're very pretty. Yeah, I wonder if we take our cotton swab and touch the milk with it, Chloe, like we did before we put the put it over here. Does anything happen? No. So now it's just kind of mixing up. Let's try that again. All right, let's do that experiment one more time. Maybe we take a little 
Let me rinse it out and let's try it one more time to just see if we get the same results the second time. Well, we have some more milk. We're going to pour, we're going to try this one more time and see if we get the same results. It looked better than when we did it the last time. Oops. Very good. All right, can you put one drop each of your food coloring in your I petri dish? It. That's all right. We can clean that up. I'm all right, go ahead and put a drop of each. Let's see how our milk looks. And then we'll move on to the balloon experiment. There's one. Try not to put them on top of each other, kind of a little bit apart from each other. I put the pink girls in this one. It's really pretty. These are really bright, pretty colors. Good job. Okay, she's going to do purple and blue. Oh, the right. green's really getting big by itself. That's okay. Just going to drop them not right on top of the other one. There you go. There's pretty purple, and then let's get the blue. The blue, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's grab these out of the way for you. Can we put the blue over here? Or? Okay, okay. Now touch your q tip. Here's a new q tip so we know what to do. And just kind of touch the milk and see what happens. Anything? It causes the food coloring to spread a little bit. Let me try a little something. Snips it. No, it doesn't do anything. Now here comes the soap. Oh, we got bubbles. Oh! Oh, hi. I don't know if her blowing on it had any effect or not, but if you, I don't know if you guys can Did see I this. Yeah, a little bit. It kind of blew the colors together. Sorry. That's all right. I'm just trying to get the bubbles. Out. That's all right. It looks like it separates when you put soap in it. I think what happens a little bit is the colors kind of separate again. You Ooh, see? Yeah. Can you guys see that at home? That's cute. So that's really pretty. Yeah, it's like a rainbow. It is. So let's just get a close-up view of the bone scale. So there you have it. There is the milk in the petri dish okay, color what do we do next? Well, next we're gonna try this whole experiment. Slime. Not slime today. We're gonna do blow up a balloon. Slime is on the list for next time. But here's the instructions. It says you're going to need a test tube, a large balloon, baking soda, vinegar, water, a funnel, and an adult. Me. Can I do it too? Oh, yeah. You're my best girl. And I'm your assistant. You are the assistant. I should be your assistant, though. All right, so we're going to clean up this and we're going to get started on the balloon one. So here comes the balloon experiment. Out of our kit, I'm just going to move our camera over here for a minute so that you can see. We're going to need one of these test tubes. Yeah. We're going to need the little funnel. Oh yes, look at Chloe's glasses. Here's the little funnel we're going to need. And Chloe wants her lab glasses, which are a hoot. You can also make a volcano. Yes, you can, and that will be on our list soon enough. So as Chloe gets her glasses on, I am going to show you what we're going to be using. We're going to be pouring some baking soda into the funnel, which will go into the balloon. It says to, you look so funny, you're so cute. Taking our test tube, we're going to take the top off, and we're going to fill it one third of the way full. Uh, not the vinegar, and I'll tell you, it's stinky stuff. Now, I the, don't care. The test tubes come with this little tiny rack. I don't care if it's stinky. You can um, help me with the baking powder, though. I can help you with that because I don't care. Does. So we're going to fill it a third, it's a third of the way full. Oh, it's about half. Smell that. <laughs> okay, so there's about a third of the way. We're going to set that here in our little holder next to Chloe. The cat's standing right here. The what is? Oh, the cat, that's okay. I dropped. Next, we're going to take our balloon, and Chloe is going to be my little assistant here. I'm going to move it. 
Yeah. I'm going to hold. Um, you need to take your balloon, and here's your little funnel. Do you pour this in the balloon? Nope, you do not pour the baking soda into the balloon. It is very specific about that. It says what we do is... We put that inside. We put it in the balloon first. Can you can you shake some baking soda into this funnel for mommy? Keep going, baby. Nope. Oh, crazy business. So that might be a little too much. We'll filter a little bit in there and then, as it said, just a couple of teaspoons. But if you ever watch our show, we're not very good about measurements. We took the baking soda, we poured it in the funnel. We've got some baking soda down here. You can feel it's in the bottom of the balloon. Feel that? Our funnel, however, the baking soda got stuck in it, and I couldn't get the baking soda to come out of the funnel, so I ended up having to pour it in the balloon. Next, it yeah. says you have to be really careful when putting the balloon on because you don't want the baking soda to pour into the pour into this just yet. So you need to bend that over. Mommy's going to stretch this out. Can you hold the purple thing still? Can you hold the purple tray still for Mommy? It says to put your balloon right over the top. Okay. Now that we've done that, let me get the instruction book. Now there should just be one more step to this. And let's see if our balloon goes up. Hang on, flip up. Don't put it. It's blowing up. Is it doing it? Yeah. It's magical. Yeah, I can see some air. I don't see a lot. Put the back of the balloon over the test tube. Make sure the baking soda doesn't fall I into the test it. tube. Squeezing it. Let's not squeeze it. Um, then carefully lift the balloon up so the baking soda falls. See. Lift the balloon up so the baking soda falls into the vinegar. Just the balloon. Leave that there. Go ahead and tip this up for Mama. Ready? Slowly, just the end. Oh, let's see what happens. Here it goes. Is it working? Yeah. Yahoo! Yeah. So there's our little balloon. <laughs> there what do we do after balloon? Well, this is going to be it for the experiments today. We got to see how big how big the balloon gets. Oh. What is this? Don't squeeze it. Okay, All right, so let me take this off, and we're gonna we're gonna try it again. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Did I get on you? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try it one more time. Let's try it more baking soda. That was the favorite. That was the favorite. All right. Instead of using that test tube, let's use. In our kit, we have a second test tube, so we're going to use that one, and I'm going to go ahead and pour some vinegar in here. <laughs> All right. All right, one more time with the balloon. I'm not going to, the funnel did not help me so much. It got stuck in there. Then where are those kids going to pour in it? Okay, so I poured, and you can see it's all over, so you're going to want to do this over the sink, and you definitely, let's try to get this, you want to hold this thing for us? Ready? Let's tip it up. You want to do it for me, assistant? Dump our baking soda in, please. Ready? Let's see how big our balloon gets this time made a difference or not. He's growing. Ooh. It's near. Yeah, it didn't get very big, did it? You put, put more in there? I put a lot. I really, truly did. Oh! Whoa! Try to do it. Yeah, I put a little bit more fell out and it didn't have an effect. So there you have it. I think if we had a bigger, I wonder if we had something bigger than the test tube. So that's that. It did work. It did blow it up a little. I think if we had a bigger, like maybe a bottle.
filled a bottle up with vinegar and a bunch of baking soda, I bet the balloon would get huge. Because it certainly isn't as big as this picture. That's for sure. Yeah. But it did work. So next up on Chloe's Toy Time with the Project MC Squared Ultimate Lab, we're going to try to make glitter slime. Yeah, we're going to try to make glitter slime, and we might pick another one out of the book. We've got um, we've got a lot of choices in here. Maybe sweet and salty bubbles with it. So we hope you enjoyed this episode of Chloe's Toy Time. And we hope to see you again next time. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Right, Chloe? Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.